Hello, Michael and Mercedes guy here. By the way, I am Michael Medill. M-E-D-I-L-L. -L. There's only about 50 Medills in the whole world. Anyway, we're doing a fintail instrument cluster here. And I'm going to test the speedometer, the odometer, and the trip. What you want to use, you can use a nail and, and beat a square end on it so that it fits inside the drive. I use a piece of old speedometer cable that works a little bit nicer. This is very important. You must have it in reverse. If you have it forward and run it very fast, in other words, faster than backing up your car, you're going to ruin the speedometer. So you always want to have it in reverse. And this works on all the 60s, 70s, 80s speedometers. Get that drive in there. And let's see what we got. Okay, the speedometer itself works. Let's see about the odometer. And we're doing, we're doing 120. So that means that we should have a one mile digit in 30 seconds. And we don't. So that odometer is bad. You know, I've got dozens of these in case you need one. I guess I tested this one already. Let's see what we got on it. We can see that the trip works and the speedometer works because it changed to the next digit. Okay, whenever you have your cluster out, you want to pull all the bulbs out. I've already pulled them out of there. You want to pull all your bulbs, every single one. They're all over the place here and test them. Make sure that you've got good bulbs while you have that cluster out of there. And there's bulbs that go in here, 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 that one, and that one. Now this is what I do with all instrument clusters. Whenever I have them out, I permanently fix the light dimmer switch, which is a potentiometer. And the problem is they get corroded and don't work. So what I've done, I've taken a little piece of wire and I've jumped from this one connector to the other. The solder's already there. You just got to use your handy soldering gun and solder that jumper on and your lights will always work at night. And as far as dimming, I don't know a single person that wants their lights dimmed. Okay, I just moved my vise out of the way. Now you may notice I like having two vices. This is an old blacksmith vice 
And the nice thing about it is the jaws, you can tighten up on something that is not the same size as you can see. Plus, it's nice having two vices lined up perfectly so that you can hold what you're working on much better. Anyway, we're now to the cluster and it broke off. This is this heating. Uh, the temperature gauge. It uh, has a woven metal fabric around a tube that has ether or alcohol in it. And you know, I, I first tested this in boiling water. And this is from one of my parts cars. Do note all fin tails are the same, and all 111 and 112 coupes are the same gauge as fin tails. However, the 108 cars, 101, and so on, are different. The 108 and 109 looks like it's the same, but it's actually a mirror image. And if you put it in, it's upside down. Anyway, so the way you pull these gauges out, you first have to remove that contactor. Otherwise, you don't have enough room. And you remove this support. This is very important to put this support back because that cuts down on the flexing of that line so it doesn't break. There you go. Now, when removing a good one of these from your block, you want to have a big bolt that's approximately the diameter. Put some Teflon tape on it so that when you pull this out of the block, you can put that in and stop the loss of coolant. Another thing very important with these and that is that this nut must turn independently of the bulb assembly. If it doesn't, you'll screw this thing around and around and twist this and break it. So, if it won't turn independently, you want to get out your handy little channel locks and carefully grab that. And then work it, put some uh, WD-40 down in there. And then get your 14 inch, 14 millimeter wrench on there. And work it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until it's totally free so you can turn it to remove it from the block. <coughs> 